250 years ago, the slave trade looked like this. Today, this is the face of slavery. We were locked in prison. We were not paid at all. If anybody refused to work, they would be bitten. China is the world's factory. Once an isolationist communist state, over the past 20 years, it has become the biggest exporter of consumer goods anywhere on the planet. And a huge proportion of those exports come to America. Here is a country which has decided to flood the world with very inexpensive products. A great number of those are actually produced by enslaved people who are in prison. That has to be called state-sponsored slavery. China has the biggest penal colony in the world, a top-secret network of more than 1,000 slave labor prisons and camps known collectively as the Laogai. One reason why China wants to keep this vast network of camps secret is that each is a commercial operation, making and often exporting everything from industrial machinery to cheap consumer goods. Officially, China has banned the export of all prison-made products, but our investigation has discovered Chinese companies openly set up to do just that, apparently with state backing. Henan Province Justice System, clothing processing industry, a prison system clothing factory. The formation of the plant was recognized by the judicial system. Posing as a British-based clothing retailer, we call the phone number on its website. Many of the men and women forced to work for Laogai companies are recognized internationally as prisoners of conscience. Charles Lee is a follower of Falun Gong, a non-political spiritual blend of philosophy and Eastern mysticism. In 1999, China began to crack down on the Falun Gong movement, locking up to 100,000 of its followers in the Laogai. This is one of the products Charles Lee says he was forced to make, novelty slippers in the shape of the American cartoon character Homer Simpson. He particularly noticed the product information label sewn into each shoe. The label is in English, it's not in Chinese. It was designed to export to Western countries, not sell in China. U.S. federal law bans the importation of any prison-made products. But China's deliberate policy of using prisoners as slaves to boost the profits for Chinese export companies continues unchecked. And Western governments remain reluctant to rock the economic boat. As long as the world's consumer markets place a higher value on cheap products than they do on human life, the misery of five million prison slaves locked up behind these walls will continue. <laughs>